Hello my soccer universe, no skit to start this one and so we have a very attractive Champions League final. I have to say, maybe not what I was hoping for, but having Paris Saint-Germain playing these guys in Bayern Munich, it's intriguing, it's intriguing. I think it's only the second German-French final in European Cup Champions League history. So that's also the first one was between Bayern Munich and uh, Saint Etienne in 76, as far as I know. So uh, Bayern, of course, won that one. Let's see. Uh, briefly on the game before we talk a little bit more about uh, larger things and observations that I had. Um, Lyon had a chance. But remember when I said with uh, Manchester United, there's this German saying that the goals you don't make, you end up conceding. And that's exactly what beat them. And um, already, I think it was the fifth minute when Memphis Deeper had a wonderful through pass. He gets through the defenders, uh, rounds Naya, does not look up and puts the ball in the side net netting. At this point, I already thought I knew how, how this game was going. Lyon is going to have their chances. Bayern will score one goal, uh, seemingly out of nowhere, and that will decide it. Lyon had not only this chance, there was another one where Depay uh, totally mishit a cross and uh, he could not hit Toko or Kambi. Then there was another one where a uh, cross didn't come in quite well. But the biggest one was Toko or Kambi, who first uh, skins. Um, Alfonso Davis, that's a feat in itself, and then also with a dummy, Alaba slides out, and he has, I think it was the 70th minute, he has a shot that hits the post, right? Now I wouldn't have any chance to get this in. My wife just saw that, just saw, saw the one that kind of, ah, and I told her the faithful words, and you know, they are not making their chances, and now Bayern will soon come up walk into the and they'll make a goal and that's that and a minute later <laughs> she was literally just sitting down uh gnabry gets a ball from uh kimmich and then with a wonderful effort i yes i do wonder what four or five leon defenders are going to run gnabry are doing without stopping him because i guess they didn't want to make the foul whatever uh, it's a wonderful effort where he, he, you know, the run is with his uh, right foot mostly, controls the ball and then slams it in with the left foot. Wonderful goal by Gnabry. And that settled the game, uh, in a way, because from that moment on, Lyon, this really uh, shook them quite we visible. And Bayern suddenly had all the control that, that they wanted and had chances uh, where it was the more Lewandowski who... Uh, who was not the goal getter, but uh, Sim similar to the neighbor, the uh, thwarter of chances for um, Bayern. The second goal was through one. I mean, Gnabry gets the ball uh, from out and um, goes over a few stops um, across Kam. Kam comes in with Lewandowski, is totally free and doesn't manage to get, 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 get in. I mean, he on the line, Lopez saves it. It falls to back to Gnabry, who then can slide it in and 2 0 in the 33rd minute. Everyone knew the game is over. Um, Lewandowski hits, uh, miss, misses another one. I had a slight hope if maybe Lyon could get back, but uh, it is not Lyon's game at the moment. Uh, Lyon's game is against the ball and not with the ball. And you know, having only a third of possession doesn't really help. In mounting a huge come comeback, um, there were more chances uh, for Bayern than in in the second half. But also Lyon had a one, and where again Tok Tok can be when he gets a nice pass by Memphis Depay. This you have to bury these chances. If you don't, it ends up exactly like that. Uh, there was a free kick by Kimmich, and Lewandowski has has it in the 88th, and now he has scored really again in every Champions League match. Bayern wins 3-0. Bayern has won every single Champions League match this season. That's remarkable. A little bit less remarkable because we have, we, we, we don't, you know, uh, there was a single legs now from the quarterfinal on, so there are two games missing. This is also the reason why I think um, Leo Lewandowski will miss out on the Ronaldo's record. Uh, he will not be able to, uh, I don't think he will score three uh, in the final. But yeah, uh, 
it's still highly, highly remarkable what, what is happening. And I have to say, everyone is kind of waxing lyrically about Lewandowski and he is a striker that has been in great form. I have to say at this tournament, I'm a little bit less convinced, uh, even against Chelsea and, and uh, I think he should have scored more. If he was in great, great form, he would have scored a lot more goals than he actually did. And either they route Barcelona 8-2 and how many does Lewandowski score? One. You would, you would, would expect him to score a few more. So uh, this is the one thing that I'm a little bit worried. The other thing that I'm worried for Bayern, and that means I'm not worried, I'm actually hope, oh, hoping for that, is this incredible high line that they're playing. Um, yes, puts a lot of pressure, but you saw how vulnerable they are. I mean, Barcelona had a few chances through that. Lyon had some great chances, and you wonder if that hits Mbappé. Neymar, don't worry, he will not make, he will uh, uh, thwart it, but um, Mbappé, that could be interesting. This may what, what, this is what makes this final so intriguing, because I think it's the first time that Bayern will face a proper team. Yeah, personally, it's not a proper team. It is the first time that Bayern will face a proper team this season, and so far they have been uh, yes, you think they look vulnerable at the back, but on, on the other side, they beat Lyon in yeah, second and most third gear quite handily, 3 0. Um, I would have loved to see them against City, but I think, it, uh, you know, Lyon fully deserved to beat. They, they, they showed everything that they deserve to beat there. Um, so let's see how it, it, it will go. I think it's a very intriguing final. I would say Bayern are favorites but these guys up there are on the, honestly i think there's a chance for psg to uh get the first champions league title especially with this front line the one thing that worries me about psg though is that the front three as great as they're going forward they're not really good at tracking back and that's already undid barcelona but uh, barcelona is not as solid of a team at the moment as psg is and this is also some, something i'm never thought I would say but I think uh, the way PSG played against Leip Leipzig and also uh, already showing some signs against At At Atalanta was actually quite uh, good and um, they are a pretty decent side has to be said anyway uh, I was also amazed and it just came to me the, the last few days Europa League and Champions League we've only seen one game go to over overtime in this final, uh, though both two final four tournaments. That is not usual. Uh, but then again, um, maybe they go to overtime more at national team tournaments, which we're coming up very, very soon. I, 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 I was surprised about that. Um, but um, that maybe the teams are not as gelling as here, but uh, I was expecting that there will be a few overtimes, even penalty shootouts, maybe they can't become a final. Speaking of penalties, I think I counted only three penalties in those final fours. There was the one for uh, Atletico Madrid and then two for Man and Manchester United. And have there been any red cards? Very unusual. Uh, speaks for the discipline of the players during uh, these very, very important times for their teams. So goodbye, Lyon. I think you were a joy. Um, I would have loved to see an all-French final. I think it would have been great for Liga to kind of boast. Yeah, we also can have. But still, um, I, we will miss Lyon next season because they will not play in any European competition. So uh, that's kind of a bummer. But maybe, just maybe, this could mean that they can mount a challenge in Liga, uh, And we'll see them uh, a season later. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to this final between... I think we have in both... European competition, a really good final. PSG against Bayern. Ha, ha, ha. That sounds like fun. Just, I wish there would be fans there. Anyway, let me hear your take on what you think will happen. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos or playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.